for everybody. Y'all already know what it is. It's still there, Marie. I just wanted to get y'all real quick. I'm at five and below. And I'm buying a few accessories to, you know, tighten up the channel. Ooh, ooh. That's nice. Yeah, so nice. So I'm buying some things. So, you know, y'all just gotta invest in yourself. So I need a charger for the car. I needed a car mount too, because I'll be wanting to talk to y'all in the car, but I don't have nothing on the uh, what's the name, so I have to do that. And then I need another smaller like tripod. So because my other tripods are really big, and sometimes I'll be wanting just a small one that I can hold. So oh my god, five and below, man. It's the place you gotta be for your little knickknacks and electronics or whatever. So I wanna show y'all that. What'd I say? Yeah, I got the gold one. The gold core, and then Imari found this little shower speaker because I like listening to sh music in the shower. So I have that as well. <clears throat> That's really what I came here for, but I'm gonna still see what they have because I um. Who else has been dreaming about summer from the couch? You know, you always need Get some. To and it's been a while since five and below been cold. <clears throat> What about dumbbells? It's officially the summer I do have to, you know, trying to get my workout in. Yes, let's make the best of it. I don't know. Maybe I should do that later. Should come here for, should come here for workout gear maybe later. You think, honey? I should get the workout stuff a little bit later. Yeah. Cause I do, I need some more dumbbells and stuff, but I'll get that later. Ooh, get that scale right there. I need that right now. I will, however, get a scale so I can keep track of my weight because that's the one thing I haven't been doing. They got this little simple one right here. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to people um, watching me vlog. You know, looks and stuff you get. Like, what she doing? What she doing? Yeah. Hippie vibes. Hippie vibes. Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe I should get these toys or nothing like that. Um, just trying to see what else is here. But I can't wait to test out the um the car mount. I'm just trying to see if there's something I can get here for. The upper ferry. I always try to find new things for her to do because you know we've been in the house. So I need like an organizer too for my um, ideas and stuff for my channel, like just to stay organized. Like I'm an organized person. So when I have ideas, sometimes I need to jot that stuff down. And so that's what I want to do. Um, I think I'm about to go crazy in here. I can't make <laughs> you came here for one thing. And now I just need so much. I don't know, we'll see. Say hi, Mari. My mom is calling y'all. Hold on. Hey, everybody, I'm back in the car. I talked to my mom and everything. Got off the phone with her, and I'm extra hyped because I told y'all I had my. Uh, my phone mount in a car, so I finally got a hooked up, so I just want to go ahead and give it a test line or whatever. And I did get some more stuff from Five and Below. I got this Family Feud thing. Or Mari, whatever, but I love Family Feud, so. And then he just got a bunch of damn candy. Swedish fish, dog, earth. What's this? Dots? Ew, you like dots? Look, for some reason I hate dots. It's not exciting at all. We got 
Butterfinger. Take it whatever. Got butter fingers or whatever. And Dina, I had, they had like the little chairs, uh, the little beach chairs, and I wanted to get one for Amaya because he like moves around the living room all the time, and I wanted to get one for him, just to be all taste without the glasses. I wanted to get one for him, but they didn't have one, but they had this little cute little stool. It might go with nothing in my house right now, but a little footstool, and I figured Amaris might want to sit on that sometime. So we got the footstool. I, I showed y'all the other stuff that we got. Um, so my mom called me, and I'm about to go pick her up from my granny's crib. And then she said she wants some crabs today, y'all, so y'all know it's about to be a seafood boil. I'm probably not gonna attach it to this video. I'm gonna attach, I'm probably gonna just do a whole separate video if we do the seafood boil. Y'all already know how we do. I'm probably, it's probably gonna be like a simple one. I'll probably just do the crabs and the boiled eggs. I probably won't do like, you know, nothing major, nothing fancy. Y'all, I'm feeling this. <laughs> I'm feeling this little whole little mount situation. I'm a little hype. I'm a little hype a little bit. Damn, I went up the wrong way. Why didn't you see nothing? I'll go on the other side. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not allowed to talk to you now. Of course you're allowed to talk, especially when the vlog and vlog is going. Well, not vlog. I keep calling it that. I do want to actually vlog one of these times. So, yeah. You want butterfingers? I don't like butterfingers. They're not bad, but they just meh, meh. They're good and right. I know. I don't have to, but I can. You say as an option. Yeah, so we gonna go get Shirley, girl, y'all. And that's that. So I recently had got my screen fixed not too long ago because of my that broke it. And now he basically broke it again. Um, which I, I don't even know when this happened, but he obviously had my phone and it looked like he was taking it and scraping it up against the ground or something. And it's kind of like a little uh, crack in the corner. So I feel like it's like this extra glare that shines through that crack because it's a small crack like right across the camera. So, and then the screen is like, got little scuffs on it. Thanks to Myas. Brand new screen. That's kids for you. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my madre, and then we're gonna decide what store we are going to, and then I'm gonna come back when I have her in the car or whatever. Let's see what she talk about, what she's doing, or whatever. But I'm excited for my knickknacks, for my charger, for my weight thing. I'm excited for my five and below stuff, especially, especially for my car mount. I feel like with the car mount, y'all definitely probably gonna be seeing more of me. Cause car mount and the car time is like personal time. And I be feeling like I have a lot to say during this time, during my drives or during my when I'm running my errands and stuff. But I don't, you know, I don't want to drive and try to hold the phone up. So this is a really good investment for me. And it came cheap at five and below. And I appreciate you. Why are you drinking my water? <laughs> so this is annoying because we literally just got something to drink from the store. I asked him if he wanted water. He said he did not want no water. He decided to get this arm and hammer crap. Under, under armor. Whatever. And he got this and he drunk it all, but he thinks since I'm talking, I didn't see him just drink my water. I want the same respect. I want to drink my whole thing of water like you drink your whole thing of juice. You don't drink that much. Imari, I like to have stuff left over. How you gonna try to drink my water? <laughs> It'll be hot. <laughs> so, no sorry, no none of that, but just excuses for why he's just done what I said my bad. That's excuse me in black. <sighs> That's nonsense. You stopping at Rita's? No. We're not stopping at Rita's. My mom is calling, guys. So, apparently I had to stop at Rita's. 
The disrespect I've been getting on this whole ride is just crazy to me. Get my temper card too. That's mine. Oh, you know what? I ain't even got it, bro. Oh. It's even cabin card because it didn't go cash out. I'm about to turn it on. Can you see if they got a cheese filled pretzel? A cheese filled dick? I mean, pretzel? Sorry. <laughs> and this is why he can't be on camera because he's a filth bucket. <laughs> you want no ice ice? Watermelon? I can't eat it right now. It's going to melt. Well, That's why I asked you to wait. You well, don't listen. Melon? I feed it to you. No, thank you. So you don't want one? You're What's up, everybody? It is your girl I'm back. So, as y'all know, I went to go get my mom. Um, we went to On and Sons, which is a seafood place that's down the seafood place that's down the street from my house. My mom got her blue crabs, but I didn't think it was worth me buying any crabs because sis was trying to get first and foremost. Um, the Dungeness crabs was like $17.99 a pound. So I told her I wanted a pound of Dungeness crabs. She's like, oh, well, it's $17.99 for one. And I said, well, it says $17.99 a pound right here on your sign. So then it's another sign that says prices may change up to well, whoever's discretion. Then there's another sign that says steam platters may be an upcharge because of market prices. Okay. I get all of that. But I feel like, sis, you deciding your own prices based off of what whoever is saying. So, basically, if I come in and I say, oh, so you say you want to charge me $20 for one Dungeonese crab? Because I'm going to round it up. I'm not going to say $17.99. I'm going to round it up. Round that shit all yeah. So, you want to charge me $20? For one Dungeonese crab? No. That's not where it's at, sis. We ain't doing it. So, they watching Kingdom come back here. My mom anymore. Um, but no, I'm not doing that. So, I didn't do that deal. I wasn't trying to do that deal. Um, so I didn't. Um, cause she got me jacked up. Um, so I didn't. I actually just went to the market and just decided to get, like, raw crabs. And, um, hold on. Crap. I'm trying to tighten this because I don't really like the way it's laying. Alright, here we go. Um, yeah, because, so I did. So I went to the market, which is ShopRite, and I bought, go ahead, and I bought raw crabs. I bought raw crabs from the market so I could just make that. The kids went swimming, so that's their swimming suits hanging on the back of the bed. Um, so I can just make that. Maybe like do a late night seafood boil. I had bought some stew meat a couple days ago and I need to cook it. I don't want it to go bad and all of that. So I need to cook it. So that's what I'm over here about to do. Um, I'm about to rinse my um, stew meat. I like to make, um, I don't really call it stew because I don't make the stew with the meat. <laughs> So what I like to do is I make Spanish rice or Mexican rice. I make my beef stew, of course, stew meat, or just the chopped um, steak meat already packaged. And I make that with um, some onions, some peppers, and stuff like that. I make the Spanish rice, and then I put beef gravy on it, the rice and the steak. And yeah, that's my little dish that I like to make. I don't know if you would call that pepper steak. I don't know if you would call that. It's definitely not a stew, so I don't know. I just won't call it stew. So here's my meat here. I'm about to rinse this off and then I'm about to put it here. So this is the stand y'all that I got from Five and Below. I was trying to open it and use it because it actually, right now I'm using my ring light stand, which is fine. But this, you can see, is easy to move, either to adjust or things like that. So I'll use that later on. But I'm going to rinse my meat and then I'm going to season it up. 
I'm going to season it up and throw it in a pan. So this is like a quick meal. It's a quick and easy meal that you can do. It's like a quick and easy meal that you can do. Um, not hard at all. On none of those things. Also, did get a cake prepared to bake. I also got her some cake frosting that she can make. Okay, Amaya's stop it. He came over and felt like y'all was in his way, so he decided to move y'all. Alright, so. Now, I usually don't do it like this. I'll get a dip. Sure. I don't know what I want to use right now. This is the cake pan. I'm going to use the chopping board. I'm going to use the chopping board just to take the meat out and rinse it. So I'm rinse my chopping board. I'm going to put it on my side counter. A is here. Y'all can't see him, but he's right here. My little ace bone. Y'all, he's everywhere I'm at now. That's it, that's all. He said, that's my mom. Okay, so I'm going to rinse my meat. I know they say you're not supposed to, but I know. I don't know who touched it, who packaged it, or any of those things. So, I always rinse my stuff. Then I usually take the little dish that it came out of. I rinse that out from all the blood. And then I put my meats back into season because see, I don't like making a mess all over my counter. It's just more mess that I have to clean up. And I don't necessarily do that. So of course this we throw away. Okay, and then we have my meats here that we are gonna season. Try to tilt y'all down a little bit. Follow me, follow me. All right, here we go. So y'all can see what I'm doing here. So I got my meat. I don't like to do uh, too much because I don't like a whole lot of seasonings. So I always, always, garlic powder is always important. We always use garlic powder. Um, and lemon, pep lemon pepper seasoning is my favorite. It's like my go-to. So garlic powder, lemon pepper seasoning is my fave. But I also got a little bit of Mrs. Dash here. So my trick is since I don't like a whole lot of seasonings, I do a uh, light coat. I don't like coke, but enough coke. So here we go. We're putting that garlic on. I feel like you can really never have too much garlic. You can really never have too much. So garlic, I put on. I put on a lemon pepper. Some fell out. That's all right. I put some lemon pepper on there, and then I turn it. Okay. Feeling that's okay. Make sure your counter and stuff is clean because stuff will get messy. Some garlic on the other side. Some lemon pepper. All right. And now that that's done, I mix it all in. Light work. Light work. Mix it all in. Of course, make sure you wash your hands, soap and water before you start because. First of all, you ain't no real chef doing you with your hands, all right? Then I sprinkle that, that um, Mrs. Dash on there. You know, you can never go wrong Mrs. Dash. I sprinkle that good old Mrs. Dash seasoning on there. Salt free. All right. Let's see how much I really want on there. Like I said, I don't like a whole bunch of seasonings. Or potent seasons, maybe. I don't. So, that's done. I dropped the piece. Okay. I'm going to have to get it up for little Myers. So Myers is down there. So, I'll pick it up, put it to the side. I'll wash my hands. Alright. Then, I'm going to get my pan. Now, 
I'm gonna use my wide pan that I have here to put my meats in. All right, let me go back over here. See y'all can see a little bit of what I got going on. Okay, so obviously my phone fell. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I need a stand that just works with me because this kind of just disrespected me. And mama's not here for it. Be with me, guys. I'm putting y'all back in the stand because y'all pop out and y'all know y'all ain't supposed to be out here. Okay, so here we go. Child, please. Why would she sit this up here like it belongs? <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Hold up. I feel like this is so cricket, but why? Alright, so I'm gonna warm up my pan. And I had cooked some earlier, y'all, so it is a mess on the stove. I don't care. So I automatically, in my pan, I put a little bit of the, I have olive oil. I'm going to use canola oil. So I just add a little bit of cannoli oil. That was a lot, but we won't ignore that. Put a little bit too much in there. my meat in there and I let the butter melt with the oil so it can get the juices all flowing together there Sorry guys, I just wanted to get some stuff. So, I did start putting, I don't want my broccoli to go bad, so I'm gonna add some broccoli to it, I'm gonna add some carrots to it. So it's kind of going to be a stew, yeah. guys, but it's not really going to, the, the broccoli and the carrots will be mostly with the rice. It's not like gonna be in like a heavy stew sauce or anything. So let me fix my, um, thing on. We're gonna have that raw meat on there, you don't want that. Um, you know, mess up what you have going on. So then I can take and sit this on my rack. I'm gonna rinse my broccoli up for Hold up, I didn't dispose of this, which is trify trify. Alright, so I feel like we got a good heat going up in here. The butter is melted, it's sizzling, it's sparkling. I'm gonna turn my flame down. I'm going to add my meat that we season. Right? So. Hey! No! Sorry, y'all. Maya tried to reach his hands up here on the stove. Move, buds! No! No! Amaya, what did I say? Minnesota are really trying to teach him how to listen, y'all. Rinse my property, like I said. I don't care what they're talking about. I'll rinse my stuff. Amaya! 
He keep touching the damn eyes on the stove. And that's when you need a damn beat. He too tall to reach him already at one. He can't mess with the stove. We gonna have to put something on there. He can reach it. I probably shouldn't sit this here, but I don't have nowhere to sit. I need to cut my onion real quick. Where's my trusty dusting knife? So, you always know you gotta have a go-to knife that you use anyway. A good knife. This is the case, but I don't see the knife. This knife don't give me power. Maybe I'll just do the seafood boil tomorrow. Tomorrow I do have to work um, tomorrow afternoon. So maybe I'll do it early tomorrow since I already have what I need. I also did give me some uh, Cajun seafood salad. So market prepared. So I didn't make my own. I just bought the one that's already store prepared. So I like my steak well done. No pink. So I let mine get real well done. Not real well done, but I like it to be no pink before I add the um, onions and all of that for it. No pink before I do that. So we let them cook all the way down to the brown. Here we go. I'll go to the laboratory. Hold that thought. All right, I'm done. I don't really know how or when my video decided to stop, but I hope y'all got most of that that I did. Damn it, I don't even know. The video had cut out for a second, but. So, like I said, I'm making my, um, browning my, uh, steak meat right here, y'all. Hold up. Browning the meat. As y'all can see, it's getting brown. Not a whole lot. Okay, so now is the time where I will add the onions because I see it, you know, get in there. So this is the most amount of onions that I've ever really kind of added, really. I just kind of started liking onions last year. Not raw, never raw. Fried onions, I prefer. So I throw them in there. Okay, and I'm gonna let the onions cook a little bit with the meat so the meat can get that onion flavor. Now, once the meat is cooked to a good um, situation, that's when I add the vegetables. Because when I add the vegetables, I'm also gonna add the, um, I'm gonna do beef gravy seasoning pack. Like I said, this is a real light and easy meal. I do that, and then I'm going to get my seasoning pack. And I actually just started playing around with it, so. Really good. Okay, so I do have the brown gravy pack. 
But since I have some chunks of meat, I'm going to use this. Because I basically have scoop. So I'm going to use a scoop of gravy. Like I said, this is an easy, simple meal. I'm going to take that out so we can use that. Back up in the stove. Don't blow yourself up. All right. So we mix that meat. We mix some onions. I'm going to let y'all look at me for a minute because you know, oops, sorry, my hand all up in the way. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to bring y'all back when I add the carrots and the broccoli. All right, so I thought I was recording this whole time, but all I did was break my broccoli up, rinse that off, um, pour some of the um, carrots in here and rinse everything off okay so like i told y'all we're gonna we made our meat to the brown y'all see it's nice and in there the onions is in there is really good so then i'm gonna go ahead um i'm still my water is starting to come to the boil for the rice i'm gonna go ahead and add my carrots and my broccoli to the pan Okay, the steam, y'all, has a lot to do with it. Because we don't want to overcook those vegetables. So you put the vegetables in there. I mix it around to try to have like an even balance going on. As y'all can see, it's kind of like a stir fry, kind of like a stew, but I don't slow cook it. I don't slow cook it, right? So then you have that. That's good. You get you uh, some water. I don't. I wouldn't say a full cup. Kind of gotta be able to judge the choice. What's wrong? He ever eats wine and then what's going on? Okay. Um. So yeah. Now that I added the ingredients, I'm gonna now add the spices. Okay. And usually I don't add the whole bag, but I'm just gonna add. The whole pack for that flavor fulfill it. So you see this is the powder, this is gonna be the gravy. I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna mix it in. That's why you want to have a lot of flavor going on because of that water you add. Now I don't know if some people add other stuff like beef broth. That's a good thing to add, but I just didn't have none right now. I think I have chicken out there. And so I don't want those problems. So I just add a little bit of water, which literally, y'all, it does not take the flavor. Because everything in here actually has the flavor. This is my pot. It's in a way. Let me move it. Move that pot so you, you can have some room here. I'm going to stir my stuff around. And then I'm going to go get the lid so we can slow cook that. And I'm going to turn it on low. Because remember, we want, our vegetables to, we want our vegetables to steam. Not really too much cook. It's already kind of done. What's wrong, my book? You need a nap? So we're going to cover that. We're going to let that simmer on low. Then we're going to handle our rice because our water is boiling. And I already know, like I told y'all, that we're going to have to add more water because it don't be enough. But I will start off with the recommended amount that they said put in. For right now, because... Woo! Good old seasoning pack. Get me a spoon. Whatever Okay, so as y'all see, I added my you are right. I added my vegetables here. They're on low steam. I added the seasoning pack and everything, so that's on low. We got that covered or simmer. Maybe too much. Let me turn it up just a little bit. And then, like I said, my rice is right over here to the other side of the pot, and we have that on simmer as well. Now I clean up as I go because it's less work to do after. But I try to keep the stuff that I may still need instruction to. Just in case y'all want to know, this is the kind of rice that I use. I'm not really big on rice and gravy. So I kind of just started 
being in agreement. That's why I use the cultures and stuff until I figure out the dynamic of it and I can make my own. But I like to use Mexican and Spanish rice. It adds a little something extra. White rice is nice. Spanish and Mexican rice. I'm gonna throw this away because I already basically know how to make it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it all my trash that I left here on the counter. I'm gonna put um, the stuff away that I can put away. Still using that. Um, so yeah. And maybe since I only have this half of the onion left, maybe I'll just add this. I might just add it, but like I said, it's easier guys to clean up while you're doing it. Okay, so all this is simmer. We're gonna put our stuff away. I'm gonna cut that onion and I think I'm just gonna add the rest of it. Cause you know, I'm not gonna save it. And there's no point of putting it in the refrigerator. I don't know when I'm gonna use it. So I'm probably just gonna use the rest of the onion. I thought the bag was closed and then the bag fell. And here come the Mayas. So this is what I just did. Wait, y'all can't even see. Hold up. Let them eat it. It's a vegetable. A raw vegetable, but you can eat raw carrots. Can you clean that up for me? Can you, can you clean that up for me? Thank you so much. Are you going to clean it up for me? So what Not interesting enough to eat. <laughs> All right. Now you just